Good evening, good evening. It's great. You may just say good evening, good evening to you. Hello, everybody. I'm Tupperware Pete, Peter Williams. How are you? I've just finished doing a video where, oh, where I did my flaming pineapple. If you didn't see it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tupperware Pete, and you'll see all of my videos that I pop up there. I'm now going to, I'm a little bit peckish, so I thought I'm gonna show you my quick BLT that I do, but I do it with a slightly bit of a twist, all right? <laughs> how strange things happen, how you going round the twist. <laughs> you know this product? What is it? It's called the Micro Pro Grill. It's basically a barbecue that goes into the microwave oven. Yes, it's made out of metal. Yes, it's totally safe for the microwave. I do have a couple of them kicking around because I love them, right? I can do a potato bake. I can cook a steak, sear a chicken breast, crispy skin salmon. I can do scones, chocolate cake, pancakes. I can do a mixed grill. Eggs, bean, mushroom, tomatoes, capsicum. You can do sausages, chicken wings, rissoles. Um, you can, anything you do under the grill, this will do in the microwave. Like if you're going to do a, a grilled cheese toasty or something in the microwave. Everything you do in the oven, this will do in the microwave. Like potato bake, lasagna, scones, cakes, all those sorts of things. Do it in there. Everything you do on the barbecue, this will do in there. So, you know, um, grilled asparagus, zucchini, um, roast pumpkin, um, all your chicken, meat, tofu, any protein that you want to do, you can pop it into there. Anything you do in the toaster, this will do. Anything in the sandwich press, this will do. So basically, it's made out of stainless steel, which is totally safe in the microwave when it has a curved edge. So it's curved edge, so it's totally safe. Now, the metal doesn't touch the metal on the inside because... Look at this. It's like this little bumper car that goes all the way around. It's like a dodgem barbecue that goes into the microwave. Don't look too closely because I do use this all the time, all right? So, can you see there's like a generous footing underneath here? All the silicon is Tupperware silicon, so it's not been watered down with any latex, if you know anyone that's got a latex allergy. So that's raised up, so the metal's not touching the bottom, and it's not touching the top either because of the... the um, the Tupperware silicon, all right? Now, can you see here, even with the, the cover here, you've got down this one side, you've got like an elongated foot down this side. You've got another elongated foot down that side. So when it's sitting on there, not even the metal on the top is touching the metal on the bottom. So that's another reason why it's safe. Um, and it's curved as well, right? So basically, underneath here, there's a susceptor disc. It's like a transformer, more than meets the eye. And there's another one underneath here. Um, actually, when you lose the instruction booklet, all the instructions are there, so you don't have to keep looking for the booklet, right? So what happens is, when it's in the microwave, the susceptor disc attracts all of the energy, converts it over to heat, exactly the same underneath here. That converts it over to heat, and then it heats up this Eterna surface up to 220 degrees. Now, Eterna, there's no PFOA made in any of this Eterna. There's no acid whatsoever used in any of this surface in here, right? You never have to spray it with anything. Don't grease it with anything because it's totally non-stick, right? So, having said that, I am going to put a little bit of butter in just to add colour to the bottom of my... Um, of my salad wrap, and I'll show you that in a minute. I've got some butter in here, right? Butter's expensive. You don't want that to be going off, right? So what I do is, you literally, I've just got 250 grams just to stick of butter. I'm just gonna pop that straight in to my Clearmate container, and pop that Straight onto here. Now, if it was if it was not 37 degrees in southeast Queensland where I am, I might want to grab my Tupperware um, veggie peeler, and I can then just peel off my my butter. But I don't need to do that because it's 37 degrees. So <laughs> all we're going to do is grab. I've got. I love these spinach wraps. They're just beautiful. It's the mission. Spinach wraps. Vita, vita nostra. All right, we've got that in there. I've got my wraps in here. Now, I can, every now and again, they come out with this Eco Plus range platter, which is ideal to serve your wraps in, all right? Or you might want to use, you might want to use the bottom of your serving centre, all right? So you've got, 
Oh, there's the little sachet. You've got your little, so everyone can make up their wraps. Or, you know, taco night, you have your tacos, your wraps. If you don't want a taco, you can have a wrap, all those sorts of things. But for now, I'm just going to pop them straight into my platter. All right, now, let's grab, I've got one of these, I've got some butter. All I'm going to do is literally spread that, just a little bit of butter. Talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Actually, let me know where you're watching from. I love knowing where people are watching from. Are you in Australia? Or are you in... I know we've got Canada watching. Sometimes we have South Africa watching. I'm going to put this butter side down. Right? Literally, just like there's no rules, right? Just pop it straight into there. I'm going to seal that. I can pop that into the pantry. I can have that for later. All right. Now what I'm going to do is... One egg, I'm literally just going to crack that straight into there. Can you see this okay? Oh, let's get rid of this eggshell. We've got some egg. I'm going to grab my Tupperware whisk. I love the Tupperware whisk because clean up is so easy. Look at that. It's just perfect. So I'm just going to whisk away. And we'll just run that straight around, like literally... That's it. I've just got my egg that I've popped straight into there. I've got some bacon. And I'm just going <laughs> to... There are no rules, but, you know, you can do this for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You want a quick snack? Not a problem. You've just got that straight into there. That's going to go back into the fridge. I've just got my bacon and my egg straight up into there. I'm now going to pop that in. I'm just going to fold this over. I just push the edge down so that when I pop this into the casserole position, I mean the grill position, we pop it into the down position, right? I'm just going to pop it straight into there for five minutes. So basically, right, if I wanted to do omelettes, it does come with a little Micro Pro grill ring. I can do my, um, I do an avocado omelette in here. You can do a double chocolate mud cake into here. I did, did you see that video where I did my pancake cake? It turned in, it was supposed to be a blueberry pancake, but it turned into a cake, right? You can take that out. If I'm doing bacon chops, rissoles, sausages, um, chicken, anything that needs to drain away any excess um, liquid, it goes into the little gutter around the here. Get into the groove. <laughs> it goes into here. So it's not a broiler or a boiler. It's actually a true grill, all right? So how awesome is that? You can pop that into... That is the casserole position. So anything you do in the oven, it goes into that position. A quarter of a turn, and it becomes a grill or a barbecue or a sandwich press. And that's what I've done just into there. I haven't pushed it down. I've just let it sit up just a little bit. And it, I popped it in for five, five minutes. I've popped that into there for. While that's happening into there, I've got my Vent Smart. You know your Vent Smart containers? These are the ones that'll make your fruit and veggies last three to five times longer than just sitting in a plastic bag at the bottom of your fridge, right? Now, I've got these two cars hearts. They stick together like a honey and a bee. I've got, they're on sale, and I saw them there and thought, you know what, why not? We pop them straight into there. Now, with all green produce, or actually any colour, right? So any fruits and veggies. They do last longer in the Vent Smart container if you just pop them in there dirty and then wash them as you use them, all right? So I've just got... I'm just... I've just got some... I've got three, three lettuce leaves in here. If I wanted to... I'm just popping over to the sink. If I wanted to, I could prep... Like, this is just for me, right? But if I wanted to, I could do the whole lettuce and I could just wash that up in the Tupperware salad spinner if there's like if the whole family's having fe having a feed right you can just pop that into there because it's because it's basically just me I'm not going to I'm not going to mess around with any of that just let me put this back on here and I'll pop that back away that's my butter and there is my lettuce I'm just going to Tear that up into there, right? Then I've got my tomatoes. Now these tomatoes... Are 
I did forget to put them back in the fridge after I did a video, so they've been out all, they've been out for like two days now, whoops a daisy, 37 degrees, so I can guarantee you they're on the way out. So what we'll do is, when you use your vent smarts, they do work better when you pop them in the fridge. <laughs> all right. So I've got, I've got the Tupperware bread knife, which I just used earlier for my flaming pineapple. And if you, let me just show you here, I'll show you. If you do this in a soaring action, it's actually just glides through just like butter. It's absolutely beautiful. Really easy to use, right? So we'll just take that little end bit. We don't want to eat that one. We'll just pop that straight into there. I'm just going to slice that straight through. There we go. So there's our lettuce, our tomato. What we might do, we will seal that. We're just going to pop that straight into there. Lettuce, I know, is a medium breather, so we just pop that onto the medium breather, and that's going to pop straight back into the fridge. Let me put this bacon in the fridge now, because it is starting to get a little bit warm. We don't want that into there, so we've got our... Right, now, we'll pop the eggs back in there as well. We've just got a minute left, so what we will do is... You know what we will do? I'll just pop up a little bit of cheese. Now... Am I the only one that over Christmas your fridge looks ridiculous? <laughs> it's like, quick, grab anything and shove it in and stick it in. And then basically um, after Christmas, after New Year's, while everyone's eating leftovers for the week and stuff, and then you think, right, we've got to clean out the fridge. And then you clean out your fridge and your fridge is bare again. It's like, no, we're not going shopping until all that food's eaten, right? <laughs> so I've got my cheese in an ultra clear, right, which I usually... <laughs> This is, this is a little bit embarrassing. I usually use the Clearmate to, con to store a kilo block of cheese. However, I did have <laughs> food everywhere. And so this is my um, kilo block of cheese. So what we're gonna do is, it's still all good. I can easily monitor. It's a totally airtight and liquid tight container. I've just got some cheese in here. But a lot of people haven't seen these. They're for the pantry. But because they've got an airtight seal, you can use them for the fridge as well. So how easy is that? I just wanted to show you that because I quite like it. I think I might change that for my new cheese container now. All right, so we've got this into here. I've got... I'm just chopping this up into bits. Because what I'm going to do is... No need to ask, it's a little chopperator. All right, I've got this into here. I'm just going to throw this cheese into here. I don't like grating cheese. I don't like standing there and your knuckles get... So what you do is, just pop them all into here. Just give it a bit of a shake. There we go. We've got fluffly, fluffily grated cheese. How awesome is that? All right, so what we'll do is open this up, take this out. There, here. Oh, see, it's totally non stick except for that bit. <laughs> then, what we're going to do is just grab a plate and I'm going to show you. Let me show you this first. That's what it looks like. Bacon, egg, salad wrap. We will just pop that straight out here. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Non-stick, really simple. You grab your paper towel. If you're doing a few of these for people. Now, I did that, I did that on a 900 watt microwave for five minutes, right? So if you, if you just want to give it a wipe out in between each one, just give that a wipe. Just remove that crusty bit. Oh, that is a bit warm. The first, the first one I just did for five minutes. In an, uh, it wasn't preheated at all. So this is a really hot grill. So the next one might only take three or four minutes, right? So that's it. How easy is that? Clean up is awesome. There is my wrap. I'm just going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut up into here, and then in. One side, I've got my 
lettuce, the other side, I've got my tomato, I've got some cheese, I'll just pop them into there, and I'm going to actually have a little bit of mustard, just some Dijon, spread that over the top of our, my bacon, how awesome is that? You might just throw on a little bit more lettuce, and then all you have to do is, can you see this okay? So that's what I've got. I've got my bacon, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and some Dijon mustard. You might want to throw on, if you like salt and pepper, throw that on in there. All I'm going to do is just do this. Just do this. Fold it over again. Fold it over again. And there is my beautiful... How awesome is that? It's almost like a breakfast burrito, but without the burrito. It's just like a BLT. Oh! <laughs> Yum! Oh, right. Five minutes. If you've got any questions <laughs> or suggestions, please let me know. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your hands away. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Oh my goodness. Oh my